Hey guys, so we have a Nollywood star, um, an actor, um, Mike Godson, in on this one. Um, so he actually, um, for those who have been keeping up with him, um, he actually welcomed a son with this lady, with this beautiful lady here. Um, a couple of months ago, he made the announcement on his um. Instagram page, thanking God that they have welcomed their first child together. That's him. The lady is a uh, UK based, and um, so I think he shuffles between he shuffles Nigeria and UK, um, and also um, between works and all those things. So, um, according to um, recent reports that the two have tied the knot secretly that they got married secretly and um for some reasons personally i am not so surprised because if you know mike then you know that he is very 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 private despite the fact that he is a public figure i have never um heard or seen him with any other woman publicly i've never heard about his past relationships so i think that is how low-key he has always been and all that this is the very first woman i am seeing him um publicly um showing off as his woman um, despite the fact that he has been in the movie industry for almost a decade or even more than a decade now. Um, so I know, like, I'm not surprised if they are truly, I'm not so sure about the marriage stuff, but I've read it somewhere that they are married and that the wedding was secretly done. And I was saying that, I am not surprised. He seems to be a very private person. And if you check his Instagram page where I got all these videos from, you would find out that he is never tagging the lady. So a lot of people don't even know who she is per se, aside from the few videos and pictures of her he shared on his page. Um, no blogs um has talked about her name um the most you know it's um she's london based and uh that's it so uh, people don't even know her name people don't know what she does and what tribe she is and all those things and i think like for once um uh, i mean i mean for one i think that's cool that's a good thing because Ooh, guys, social media, it's a lot of drama. Social media is a lot of drama. I feel like if you want to, if you love somebody as a public figure, especially, especially if you love somebody and the, the person um, is your, you're trying to spend the rest of your life with the person and all that, I think, I mean, it, it, it's not, it might not work for everybody, but I think keeping it on the law or, um, having, keeping your, your family life or your relationship away from social media as much as you can is really, really, um, a good thing to me because it's just so much. It's just so much. The moment you start flaunting somebody or you start showing off your love publicly and all that, that's the moment that some people will start digging off stuff about either one of you or both of you. And before you know it, a lot of neg negativity will start coming up. And before you know it, the relationship or the marriage is gone. Like, it's gone. I just feel there is just, if you're happy with the person, please just, just be happy in real life. Just be happy in real life and keep it, and keep it that way. Social media is actually um, too toxic, if you ask me, for relationships and marriages. These days, I don't know what is going on. I really don't know what is going on. This minute, these people are um, so romantically um, 
in love they are sharing each other's pictures and videos they are showing off and all of that then the next minute is this person is filing a divorce or this person is breaking up with this person or this person calling the other person name or this person insulting this person so i really don't think it's worth it at the end of the day especially for those who are in the public light and stuff like that so i kind of understand why he is keeping it on the low and i also i will understand if sincerely or if truly they actually got married secretly i totally will understand and i'm definitely here for that as well um but um the comment section of where i saw the news was just so crazy a lot of girls felt heartbroken by the news that he is married because he is their crush and all of those things i was just like are you guys kidding me somebody that you've not met why would you feel some type of way that he's finally married and stuff like that anyways but i just know it's all fun it's all f jokes and stuff like that yeah and another thing i like about my gut saying is the fact that I've never really heard any scandal around him. He has been in the industry, guys, for a very, very, very long time. And really, I haven't heard anything um, scandalous about him, his career, his relationship, or anything of such. He has just been maintaining his lane. He has just been respecting himself. So, for him it has always been about job and just being himself basically and i feel like the more you keep to yourself the more um you get out of trouble yes so i'm happy for him and if the wedding or the marriage was true or it's true then super congratulations to both to both of them i can only imagine how pretty or how cute or how handsome their child would be the lady is super cute and he is super handsome so i am sure their children will be super super cute um in one of the videos that he shared um on instagram i think today uh, he was trying to teach the lady some Nigeria, um, the weddings of some Nigerian songs and, you know, some social media slangs and all that. She was trying to bite her tongue, ah, trying to pronounce those words, but, um, this particular video actually, but it's so fun to watch them. So I'm going to attach the raw footage of this video just so you guys would hear what they are saying in the video. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. And if you've not um, subscribed to my channel, please do so. Like all my videos, leave comments, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye. But I'm saying what you're saying. Bus bus. Bus bus. Bus bus. Bus bus. Bus bus.